Hi, I'm Alexandra Herbushka with Life with Herpes, and I'm here with my friend. Hi, I'm Belise Spivey, STD Life Coach. Yep. Okay, so we're going to talk about herpes, and we both have herpes. Let's talk about our diagnosis, our diagnoses. Mm. Yeah. What What was it like when you got that phone call, or did you get a phone call? Did you go into the doctor's office? I mean, what was it like when you found that out? Oh, it sucked. I was waking up next to a guy. <laughs> that, that, like, That's awful. <laughs> Like, literally, I had sex the night before, and literally, I woke up into a full-blown outbreak. So, I'm thinking, he want to roll over and have sex again. And I was like, no, 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 no. It just, it feels weird, you know? Like, you know, I'm thinking, like, he's fairly large. That may be the reason, you know? You know? Right. You know? So, that's right. what I was thinking. So, I was like, no, it's a little irritated. He got a little attitude. But I was like, whatever. But I'm happy I did it. I'm so thankful I did it. Um, I got up, went to my, my dorm because I was in college at the time. And I was like, what is this? As young ladies, your mom always tell you, look at it if it feels funny. You know, so I yeah. looked and I freaked. I was like, what the heck is this? It was bad. You know, yeah. I had clusters. And that's not everybody. I love to say that because my experience is not the same for everybody. But I was the typical what you read on Google. I was that girl. Oh. Like, it was really bad. Um, and at that time I called my friend, which was a nurse and she was like, it sounded like herpes in the back of my mind. I knew it was herpes. Um, and then I went to the, I went to the hospital. I mean, I went to the nurse, didn't get to see them then, but by the time I went back, they was like, yeah, that's what it is. I knew by then I was like, Google told me, <laughs> well, it wasn't Google then it was Yahoo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that <long ago. laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, man, that's a hard way to find out. Yeah, it was good too. That's the sucky part. Like, so did you did you tell him? Did you did you go back and tell him how did that? Yeah. And I texted him. I was like, you know, are you good? And he was like, what do you mean? I was like, you know, when the last time you've been tested? He was like, uh, you know, that means a long time ago. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So that's probably a year ago, whatever. And I was like, well, I'm having some bumps, you know, all this stuff like that. He was like, well, go get tested and tell me what you think, you know, and all this stuff like that. So he was so calm. He was so mature. Thank God. Um, yeah. And I ended up telling him later what it was. And he was like, well, I'll go get tested and find out. And he didn't have it. Um, and it's so funny because recently he reached back out to me on Facebook. It was random. And I was like, yeah, do you need something? He was yeah. like, no, I just remember your face. Don't say you don't remember me. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that's funny all these years later right yeah that's good okay well so for my diagnosis it was a little, definitely different than yours I think yours wins yours is the best story out there but um <laughs> but I mean I went in you know something's not right I happen to have my my annual physical in like the to, I, I woke up Monday morning with it and my physical was like Wednesday, right? So I'm like, I'll just wait. It, there's, it can't be herpes, you know? It's like, it must just be a really bad yeast infection. That's it. That's all it is. And um, You already had a feeling. <laughs> yeah, but nah, you're fine. So you go in and then you get the phone call. So I got the phone call on Friday. It was the Friday before uh, 4th of July. So it's that weird day and, you know, like nobody's really working, but I was working and I was... I was in sales. I was going to call on someone and I get the phone call from my doctor and I like in the car, like everything it's deer in the headlights. Like everything goes in slow motion all of a sudden. Do you know what I mean? When you're just like, oh, yes. what no, did I you tell like me? Yeah. So, um, you know, it was, it was definitely a, a shock. I wasn't expecting it. And, um, you know, the, the best thing I did is I disclosed to the person I was dating, um, that, that day, like, so he saw the shock I was in and he, he could see it opposed to waiting. Um, you know how a lot of people will wait a couple weeks or a month and they go back and you're just in a very different position, Right. you know, like you're, you're in a very different spot and your way of coping and, and all that is, is a different is, is, is different. So that was really key. And I also, that same day called my past partners. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You did everything. I was like, all right, well, it was oh, a half day. So. Well, you knew better. You, you know, like you knew what you do. It's what you tell other people to do. So it's like, yeah, I know I got to do this. So yeah. Wow. And that was also great to do that, that same day, you know, cause you're freaking out and just the way that they could see and, 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 not be like, oh, by the way, I need to tell you, I just had this STD uh, result come back. And, you know, I, maybe I should let you know. Like, it, it was definitely, they could hear it in my voice. 
I think that's a good idea. That's something I'm going to have to share with my followers. Like, tell them why you're in the emotional state, you know, so they can really see that you're freaking out. That, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want more information on me, you can go to lifewithherpes.com or check out uh, the Life with Herpes YouTube channel. And of course, if you want more information on Herp Alert, check out Herp Alert's YouTube channel as well as go to herpalert.com. See you in the next video.